Here's an example of two variations of Ghana braid. The only difference between the two is the spacing between the wrapped thread and the tension. This technique is also known as African threading. As with all these tutorials, I will demonstrate a Ghana braid using coloured yarn representing the hair being braided and the wrapping thread. First, take the wrapping thread and tie a knot in one end. Then, take your section of hair between your thumb and forefinger and cut the rest of your fingers around the hair section. Place the knotted end of the thread under your thumb and hold it down as you begin to use your free hand to wrap the thread around the hair section as shown. Wrap the thread around the same spot as many times as necessary to anchor the thread to the hair section. Once secured, you can begin to slide your hand down very slightly with every wrap around, making sure to keep some tension in the thread. A tip is to twist the hand that holds the hair, since it helps bring the wrapping thread around into a more convenient position for the free hand to grab and continue wrapping. Continue this motion down the length of the hair. To end the braid, Wrap the thread so it sits over your thumb and pass the end of the thread beneath it to create a knot. Here I am demonstrating a much tighter braid where there is a little to no space between the wrapping thread. This is great for stretching the hair or for making more sculptural styles. Finally, this threading technique leaves larger gaps between the wrapping thread. You have to be sure to keep a tighter tension when going for this look to keep the braid firm. After five or six passes or wraps around with the thread, you can pull the thread taut and ease the braid up toward the top of the braid to create a spiral look. The more tension used gives the braid more of a corkscrew appearance. Now, let's look at a close-up of the various Ghana braid techniques on a head of hair. For this type of braiding, I find that a weave thread is the most durable. Take an amount of thread, usually two to two and a half times the length of the hair. That's a pretty good gauge. Unless you are threading without spacing, then three to four times might be necessary. Take the end of the thread and tie a knot. Take a section of the hair close to the root in your least dominant hand. Press the knotted end of the thread under the thumb and use the free hand to wrap the thread around the hair. Do this as many times as necessary in the same spot until the thread is anchored. When you can pull at the thread and the knot doesn't slip, then it is time to move your thumb and forefinger ever so slightly up the hair section with every wraparound of the thread. Honestly, this is my go-to braid because I've done it for so long, it's second nature to me now. However, it did take me a while to perfect, so don't be discouraged. Once you master it, you will be amazed how much you can do with it. This is a mid-sized plait, one I would use for general protective styling that wasn't necessarily going to be on display. This version has much larger spacing and I would probably use this as a single or box braid alternative or to create a texture in a style. As per the yarn demo, the more tension the more corkscrew in appearance the braid will become. So I am pulling at the thread and pushing the hair down toward the root. And that concludes the tutorial on Ghana plaiting. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.